boys and girls, happy holidays. It's Mrs. Smiley. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I wanted to share a Christmas story with you. And this is written by Mercer Mayer, and I love him. He is a wonderful author. And this story is called Little Critters the Night Before Christmas. Here's our title. The author is right here. And maybe you can make a prediction about what you think this story is going to be about. Remember, every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So we're getting ready to go into the beginning. And here's a character in our story putting out some milk and cookies for Santa. Put on your listening ears. Here we go. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a critter was stirring, not even a mouse." The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Santa Claus soon would be there. We were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of sugar plums danced in our heads. Look at this, even the dog is having a dream of a little bone. Mama and mom in her kerchief and dad in his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but an old-fashioned sleigh with eight prancing reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his reindeer... His, more rapid than eagles, his reindeers, they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Do you see all of Santa's reindeer? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So up to the housetop the reindeer flew with a sleigh full of toys and Santa Claus too. Look, he's even got his flashlight out pointing it at Santa. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney Santa Claus came with a bound. Santa Claus is in here. This is kind of a fun picture because you see him looking up at the roof and do you see all the reindeer feet? All their little hooves right there on the roof? He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Look who's watching. He's beaking at him, isn't he? His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His comical mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He's enjoying one of those cookies. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. I'll be excited to see Santa Claus too. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work, and he filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, exclaim as he drove out of sight. What do you think he's gonna say? 
Oops. <laughs> I can't catch the page. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. There goes Santa. So I hope you enjoy that and Merry Christmas to you boys and girls and happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed the story and think there's always a beginning, a middle, and an end in our story. So in the beginning, they were all getting ready to go to bed. And then the middle of the story, he was hearing the sounds on the roof and he was getting really excited. And of course, at the end of the story, Santa um, was there and he was just leaving too. So that was a fun story. It had a beginning, a middle, and an end. You could pick your favorite part of it to draw. Thank you for being such good listeners, boys and girls, and have a great day.